Welcome back to the channel everybody. As you can see, I'm out on the water already, I'm in my boat. I am by myself today, and I am going after the elusive white and black crappie. I'm going to be using spring bobbers with a couple split shots, a plain hook, and a fathead minnow, or a crappie minnow as some like to call it. So if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, I'm gonna head on over to the spot and I'll explain to you guys how I'm rigging it up and stuff and why I'm fishing there and everything. Kind of in a rush, it's gonna, gonna get dark soon, so stay tuned. Okay, well, I'll show you guys what I'm using here. So, I have been addicted to this new, not new, but new to me, PC Fun Carbonax. I got a size 500 reel because that is just what they all had in stock. I've been messing around with a lot of different rod brands. Here I have a 13 Fishing Duffy. Duffy, I believe it's called, Duffy Silver, but I just picked it up, so we're going to see if we can get the first freaking fish on it, and I have a mix of uh, large fatheads and small fatheads in the bucket here, I'm just putting that hook right, right through the, up through the chin, basically out the top of his head. And I got a, I don't know what size it is exactly, but just a circle hook, two little split shots, and then I have a spring bobber on there. And I'm fishing in about five feet of water right now. I'm just gonna cast it out the back of the boat and see if we can get bit. I'm going for white and black crappies. So we'll see what happens. See if I can catch one or not. Oh, Bobber is down. Got him. Freaking got him. Feels like a halfway decent one. Oh yeah, it is not a bad black crappie at all. Look at that. First fish of the afternoon here. Hook right on the top of the mouth. Look at that black crappie. Probably about a, I don't know, probably about a 12 incher. Very good one to start the afternoon off with. See you later, buddy. I'm not going to keep any at all today. But it's all about the catch and release. They're up here spawning. I do not really feel like keeping any today. Here we go, bobber down. Got him. Oh wow, that is a big black crappie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Big black crappie. Look at that, look at how tall that is. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put him in the live well. Just take a few pictures. Not gonna keep any, just a few pictures. Still got that fat head on there. Well, these fat heads are staying on very nicely. Like I said, just got that plain hook. Two little split shots to keep that bobber standing upright. And I got a little spring bobber on there. So far, it's doing me pretty good. PC Fun Carbon X 500 size. And a 6'6 Ultralight 13 Fishing Duffy. Duffy, I believe. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, comment, comment down below. But I'm pretty sure it is pronounced Duffy Silver. But just got it from Fleet Farm. Loving it so far. Very affordable price. I think it was only 40 or 50 bucks for a very nice panfish rod. And the Carbon X Reel. 60 bucks, 11 bearings, ultra smooth. I've had that now for a couple months and I just absolutely love it. Oh, 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 bobber down. Got him. Freaking got him. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving this rod so far, everyone. Goodness gracious. It's another freaking catfish. Pop that hook right out. Eh, probably about nine and a half, ten inch white crappie. Bye bye. Well, see if we can get another one. I'm gonna cast to the same spot and see what happens. Let my bobber sit there 
and see. Oh my gosh, look at that fiber's gone. Got another one. Well, this feels like a little bit bigger one. This feels like a little better one, actually. Ooh, I'm really liking this rod so far. Oh, no wonder, it's a freaking catfish. It's a freaking catfish, folks. Look at that, I'm a freaking fathead. Goodness gracious, that is the last thing I wanted. Ooh, I did not get the hooks out on camera, but it feels like we had a big something on here. Hopefully it's not a catfish. Nope, it is another big old black crappie. This is bigger than the last one. Flung that minnow right off. Hook right in the top of the mouth. Goodness gracious. Look at that freaking crappie, folks. Ooh, his eyes all messed up. Look at that. That's weird. He will be a good picture taker, so we'll put him in the live well. Bam. Okay, everybody. Well, I just want to do a little explaining. So I'm basically fishing a pretty much a rock pile. And these fish, well, crappies, I guess you could say. These white and black crappies are moving up into the shallows to spawn. About 75% of them are spawned out already. And quite a few have to spawn yet, but they're moving up in this shallow water to spawn up on pretty much any rock piles around the whole lake and weedy bays and everything and warm water and they're moving up there to spawn and what I've noticed here is they're really like I in the last video you seen me and Tim casting and they were liking it so slow so I figured well I'll try minnows because that's what everybody's pretty much number one go-to bait is I would have to say for crappies is probably a minnow and it is working absolutely amazing I'm sorry if the wind is really bad but it's starting to pick up a little bit but I'm just using a spring bobber, two split shots, a plain hook, and a little crappie minnow, and uh, they're liking it so far. So hopefully you guys are all enjoying the video, and uh, see if we can get a few more. Bobber is gone. He got that sucker. There we go. Nice. What is that? Sort of. Oh, it is a black crappie. Very, very light color. Probably about an. 10 inch or 10 and a half. See you later, guy. Okay, everybody. Well, it is getting a little bit windy out here, so hopefully you guys can hear me good. Um, I am going to wrap it up for the evening or for the night, whatever you may say. It was not a bad night at all. Right away, we were pounding them left and right on the bobber and the uh, minnow. And then it kind of slowed down a little bit once this wind picked up. Crappies are very sensitive to all weather changes. So I'm sure it got really cold out, it got really windy. I think it just shut them off. But hopefully you, you all enjoyed the video. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button down below, please. And thank you very much. It is very appreciated. And uh, rod giveaway at 500 subscribers, very close, only 10 away. A little over 10, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, it's linked down below, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.